So a little bit of retrospect. Here's the house right here. And then over there, it's a little moat that separates us from the neighbors. <laughs> I don't know. The, do you see the frog? And then the river goes all the way down here. And that's pretty much definitely the property line from the house. Okay. And then he goes down over there to the edge of the road. And then there's this moat which separates us from the neighbors, which is pretty cool. And then there's the end of the property to the edge of that fence. My property does not go past there to the fence area. It just goes from the edge of that fence right over there all the way up to kind of like the side of the house, past that, past that uh, open garage area, the carport. See that little sign over there? I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. That white post is pretty much the edge of the property. And it goes all the way down right to that post. And what I love about this is even though that's not our property over there where Jasher's at, Jasher's way over there, uh, it's all fenced in. So it's per it feels really safe where I can say, yeah Jasher, go and, go and play, do your thing. He's having a fun time over here. It's awesome. But right here on this water line is where I'm going to be putting up uh, a, a tree line where I'm going to put like eight to nine different trees all around here. And say, hey, look, look there's, there's Maverick. You're Maverick. <laughs> the reason why I'm doing that is uh, twofold. One, because I want trees. They also bear me some fruit, like some cherry trees and definitely my walnut tree. But another thing is this bank right here, I don't know if you can see that, but all the neighbors' uh, water, they go all the way through here. And over time, this bank right here is going to be eroded with natural water runoff. Well, there's only two ways that are naturally can prevent the erosion. One is rocks. Two, trees. Trees help prevent uh, natural erosion. And now Jasher's over there, in case you're wondering. He's completely safe. He's completely safe. He's having fun. But, if you notice over here, I'm gonna go right over this way. Hope you don't get sick. But this, the corrugated piping right here, is the natural runoff from, I believe, our septic tank or definitely our plumbing from our house it's just the natural excess water flow okay it goes down here and it fills up this moat and there's some frogs and stuff but definitely a tree line I'm thinking about 20 to 30 feet away from this bank because as time goes on it will naturally spread its roots out and dip right into here and as an old tree I won't have to water it any, pretty much anymore. The water is always filled up. Uh, so far that we've been here, I haven't seen this thing dry out yet. So it's constantly water. And then we're going to have a weeping willow at the edge of that. And who knows what that tree is for, but I'm going to tear that thing down and just put good trees up. It'll strengthen our foundation of our soil and also keep this thing from eroding so much and bring us fruit to come all right jasher i want you to say bye bye say bye bye are you having fun huh <laughs> all right buddy maverick's getting a little bit fussy might be a little hungry okay anyways gonna go off for now say bye bye okay you don't say bye. you having fun huh He's a frog. He's excited about the frogs. All right, bye.